we're going to have a look at rounding and estimating. Rounding numbers. We always round numbers when doing maths. Now we need to learn the rule. If it's higher than a five, we round up. If it's four or below, we let it go. Decimals. We need to identify which number first and then look at the neighbor. So for one decimal place, zero is the first number after the decimal and the neighbor is number six. So is that higher than a five or four or below to let it go? Well, that's higher, so we're going to round that number up one. One decimal place. So there's our long number. Number one is one place after the decimal. The neighbor is four. So as we know, it's below, so we let it go. We leave it as it is. So now we're going to look at two decimal places. So number four is our second figure and the neighbor is one. So we're going to leave that alone. Do not round. After three decimal places. So we've got one, two, three. And the neighbor is five. So it's a high five, so we're going to round that up. So that will be 3.142. So after two decimal places, we're going to get a little bit tricky now. So now our second number is a nine. So when we round that up, that would go to a 10 and then we would carry the one over to the next figure. So that would make it 1.60. After two decimal places, let's try again, make it a bit tricky. So we've got all those nines. So we're going to round up each nine and add one and carry it along. So that would give us 4.00. Example, you want to buy some cakes that cost £1.98 each, but you only have £10. So you could round up to say each cake costs two pounds and 10 divided by two is five. So we know that you can buy five cakes and the actual cost is nine pound 90. Why do we need to estimate? Well, say you want to buy two lots of dog insurance. The man said it costs 50 pounds, but you know each dog costs 19.99. So by quick estimation and rounding, you know the man is overcharging you and the actual cost is £39.98.